All right, back to our uh, video series here of some inexpensive ways to cook. We've got a small crock pot here, a bag of dried pinto beans, which was less than $2, some chopped up red onions, uh, black pepper, crushed red pepper, garlic powder, and minced onions. Um, what we're going to need are, this is actually four cups of water, you're going to need six per two cups of pinto beans. You're going to stick your cooker on low for about eight hours. Um, you can use dried jalapenos, uh, or excuse me, um, chopped jalapenos. Some of the recipes call for cumin, but I think it's a, a very inexpensive way to cook a good meal. So you're going to take four cups of water there. You're going to add two more after you add your beans. Go ahead and put your onions in there. And then the rest is kind of to taste. I don't measure a lot, but here's some black pepper. Um, I like to use garlic powder instead of chopped garlic because I think it burns. All right, so we added some garlic powder. I like to use a few minced onions as well. I know it sounds like overkill, but I, I think I'll add a little bit to the crunch of it all. And then I like a little bit of red, crushed red pepper in there as well. Not too much, but just a little bit. Add a little bit of zing. Make sure you add your other two cups for a total of six cups of water. Stick your crock pot on low. Cover it up. And you're going to wait about eight hours. You could, this is a great recipe to cook overnight. And it's a whole lot easier than doing it the traditional way, like the instructions on the bag. All right, so these have been cooking all night. Um, and I misspoke earlier. It needs to be on high, not low. I just stirred it a little bit. But what you can see is a lot of the water has vaporized here, as it should. And the beans look exactly the way they should. Nice and cooked, and it smells phenomenal. Um, so your next step would be to drain this in a strainer. Mix it all up. If you wanna add more salt, if you wanna add more jalapenos, onions, etc., cetera, um, go ahead and do that, and then you're gonna mash it, um, and you have refried beans. Now, I've never done this before, this is my first time, but honestly looking at this, I might eat it just like that because it looks, you can you can see how, I don't know if you can see on the video, but they're very soft, I mean they're clearly cooked. They've been cooking for almost eight hours on high and uh, I mean obviously they've expanded like they should. So if you want to mash them, just drain it, mash it up, you've got refried beans that way, drain them or you've got beans that you can stick in tacos, quesadillas. Um, salads and it is extremely easy and I think it's less than two dollars and you've got at least two meals here so I hope that helps